Mbopo Dam levels have dropped to below 50% from 50.5 to 49.8%. The situation compels water users to brace themselves for possible water restrictions to assist uh, conservation. In Zanin, water levels have dropped uh, from just over 7% to above 6% this in recent weeks. Mopani District was declared a disaster area because of the drought, with at least 10 dams now being closed due to the low levels of water. Newsroom Africa's Bilani Pahadi is at the Zanin Dam. Bilani, a very good morning to you. There's, there's been quite a bit of rain in recent days and of course we're also hearing the South African Weather Service speaking about uh, um, more heavy rains and possible flooding in places like the West Rand here in Gauteng. Yet um, when it comes to the dam levels in Limpopo, things are not looking so good. Well, things are not looking so good as yet, uh, Mpo. You remember that the area here in Mopani that we're talking about was declared a disaster area and uh, inside, in, in, in fact, then had to turn to the, the National Treasury and the Disaster Management Fund to get about 84 million rand so that they can start with uh, drilling water holes at villages and other places of which needed water the most. And uh, that's some of the challenges that the people in the area, you remember, I mean, the Guiani area in itself has challenges uh, as far as water is concerned. The, the provision of water is concerned with that um, Guiana water project that has been marred by allegations of corruption. But of course, that particular project is currently ongoing and uh, progress uh, has been made, we are told. And uh, eventually about those 50 to 54 communities which rely on that project, uh, uh, that project's finality will come through and, 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 and start getting some water. But here where we are, Mpo, we are inside the, uh, the Zanin Dam where we are standing. If uh, there was some water uh, 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 we were supposed to be literally on a boat or something, but currently I'll just ask Morena to show you when uh, just uh, a few days ago and even last night I think uh, there was a bit of rain just to show you how uh, the soil here was so dried up. A bit of rain came through and cracked it up a bit. You can see that um, that's uh, some of uh, the much welcomed rain that um, uh, people here in the Mopani would have wanted. And uh, that's some of the challenges that continue to, 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 to engulf this particular municipality. And you can see that on the other side on your camera currently um, 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 if, if there was still water as I, as I continue to say about that um, you, you wouldn't really be able to see that uh, a building there uh, and uh, those are some uh, of the water crisis that we see here the, the, the dam here um, the, literally being just about 5.9 percent we are told uh, 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 currently so I'm just going to uh, ask our, our orders to step into shot and uh, join us just to give us a bit more details he's the spokesperson of the Mopani district municipality orders and governor then thank you for joining us we see a bit of water here is it enough the rain that we've seen in the last few days thanks Bilan. I, I can tell you there is a bit of improvement of course i can't quantify it uh, the department will release this next week uh, as of uh, the start of this week this time was at 5.9 percent and if we were to compare it to last year at the same time it was up at over 20 percent uh, we are worried as a district municipality, but I can also tell you that we are not necessarily hopeless. We have developed a plan uh, to deal with this drought uh, crisis, and we, we are confident that um, at some point we will be able to um, respond to the drought crisis. Definitely. And then now, um, what, 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 what are we looking at here? If there's no rain, what are, uh, are the interventions that you as the municipality are doing to ensure that your communities are not suffering, um, including the boreholes uh, that you, you, you have been busy with, with the 84 million given by government? Look, we, we, part, part of our plan, of course, has been to drill additional uh, bowls. We drilled 98 additional bowls through the Drought Relief Fund. Uh, we also repaired some bowls that had challenges through that fund. Uh, but over and above that, we, we also purchased uh, additional water tankers so that in areas where we are not able to get um, enough water supplies, these water tankers should uh, get water to those areas. The challenge, though, has been the delay uh, in energizing some of the bowls. Like I indicated, out of the 98, we are still sitting with 57 bowls that are not energized. The executive mayor met with ESCOM about two, two weeks ago.
and they've recommitted to work faster to ensure that these bowls are energized so that our people get get water so 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 there's 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 eight, 98 or boreholes that you've dug and uh, unfortunately people can still cannot access the water because escom has not uh, energized the the the, the boreholes that's a concern. Yeah, it's a concern. That is why the executive mayor met with ESCOM. In fact, there have been engagement through the Energy Forum, where the, the MMC for Infrastructure is chairing that forum. But the executive mayor said, perhaps I need to step in and engage with ESCOM. And they've committed to say, we, we can start to uh, work faster to ensure that we respond as well to the drought challenge. Um, and we're confident that uh, they, they will indeed uh, step up because we have seen uh, their commitments. Just recently, we had um, an issue at Linyanya. They, they were able to step up. They are busy assisting that community in energizing the bowls that we have drilled in that area. Just last one from me. I mean, the 84 million, was it sufficient from government? And uh, uh, if, if so, if, if it wasn't, uh, will you be uh, perhaps looking to, to, to go back to government and say, uh, please assist us some more so that we can be able to address the whole area? I mean, they were talking a scores of villages here, over 100 villages. No, no, it, 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 I can tell you it was not enough. Uh, of course, there, there is that plan to go back to uh, the department to say perhaps we need more assistance. Our alternative plan, of course, was to also drill additional bowls, uh, bowls just right here in this dam. Because this is a dam that provides water to over 50 communities here in the greater uh, Zanin municipality. So, uh, if this dam was to dry up, then we'll be sitting in with a serious crisis in our end. So it, it definitely was not enough, but uh, it does really assist us to actually go into more of the, especially the rural villages and drill additional bowls that ultimately when ESCOM does come on board and energize, it will bring relief. Definitely, that's order some good any there. Um, Paul, just one of the pointers I think I picked up there of very important is that it's the dam is at 5.9%, and if this particular dam was to dry up, the whole Mopani area will be in a serious crisis there, and uh, saying that if needs be, they'll go back to to the to, to the treasury or the uh, disaster management fund to try and uh, get some more uh, funds to assist the areas. And as as a matter of fact, I think uh, as well to to try and uh, see what they can do. Also talking to ESCOM to fast track that particular uh, uh, um, 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 uh, process of energizing the the boreholes that they've already dug, and uh, perhaps also increasing the number of boreholes that they have. We, we heard AgriSA this week coming out to speak about uh, the drought, saying and uh, pleading with government to recognize that South Africa is not ready for a disaster of this nature. Now, I know that you've been interacting with uh, a lot of community members in that area. Um, just talk us through some of the implications of not having access to water. Well, um, um, one of the implications is that the, the, the farmers or rural farmers and those pe people who have livestock in their homes will not be able to feed their, 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 their cattle or their livestock. And, they will, and we've already seen the same thing in, in Mpumalanga and in Northwest. Similarly, here in Limpopo, some animals are already dying of uh, dehydration and mainly as well. is the fact that there's just uh, the dams which perhaps they, they used to go and uh, quench their thirst. Uh, they are, they've literally dried up. And the only way to, to get water for those particular animals is that the, 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 the their own owners must come through to, to, to bring about tankers or bring about or dig some 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 little fountains of which they could be able to get uh, their water but it hasn't been for for small scale farmers that who have had a bit of challenges as far as that particular department is concerned and we've already heard of allegations I mean claims that other people are actually even slaughtering their their cattle to try and uh, uh, basically um, um, remove the, the, the pain away from, from them and at the same time um, not to have it die and not be able to, 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 to sell it whatsoever. So they are, they are, people are forced as well to sell their livestock and so those are some of the challenges that we had people uh, here are, are facing. So from here um, we'll be going to Mtititi. That's one of the places that we, we, we are told that the drought has, has hit severely and with, uh, with uh, some organizations there advocating for government to come through and assist them uh, with 
tankers uh, for their animals and not only for, 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 for human consumption. Those, some of those challenges, um, Paul, which are, uh, I seem to, to, to say that um, um, South Africa indeed was not ready for such a crisis because some of the, the facilities, the resources are still not in place. The Guiana Water Project, which started years ago, still has still not, uh, uh, still not uh, um, complete at this particular stage and giving water to the, to the 54 communities that it's meant to benefit. The DDD the, the dam, uh, um, the Nandoni dam in, the, the, in, the, in the area of DDD, it's filled to capacity. Uh, the last time that we were there, it was at 104%, but uh, the, 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 the facility and resources to take water from that particular dam to the areas where people could be able to, to get water from that dam, it's still not there. So infrastructure, also one of the main key contributors to the drought that we see here. Despite only the fact that there's, there hasn't been heavy rain in Mopani region, but there's still no infrastructure from some of the dams of which are here and have water, but uh, uh, there's no resources to offer to the people. So those are some of the challenges that the people in this area of Mopani and Vembe in Limpopo in particular are facing. And those are challenges that I think that while we also continue asking government on what they are doing as far as intervening in the current crisis when they're doing their temporary measures with, 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 with um, uh, boreholes, what else are they doing to ensure that they fast track those resources, uh, those infrastructures that they are meant to have completed years ago and uh, currently are still a bit on the back foot. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Uh, let's uh, leave it there. Our reporter, Bilani Pahadi, out in Limpopo, monitoring the developments of a developing story, the drought and the water issues that, that are being experienced across that province. Of course, we'll continue to give you updates on this story.